few things I wanted to go over with everyone. I believe my last video or two I talked about some terms that I said I might uh, I might elaborate on a little bit more in another video. Um, specifically, uh, fastener placement uh, when constructing your dry cells. Well, first of all, I want to say I am by no means, and I'm sure you figured this out, an expert in dry cells. Uh, but uh, there are some practical engineering applications uh, that we can use uh, when constructing these cells. And we'll talk about uh, fasteners uh, specifically. Um, this is a number 1024, uh, at least it's about 3 inches long. Um, and this is the fastener that I've been using on this SBB dry cell. And I want to talk about, I guess, would be the correct and engineered uh, placement of these fasteners along this cell. Um, I'm talking about it now because uh, I think um, there's a lot of questions as to uh, what can I do to, uh, I guess, better construct my dry cell uh, without, you know, basically guessing how many screws I need, how many fasteners I need, where should I put the, uh, the proper holes should be spaced, where should I put the holes, and so forth and so on. Uh, so basically I just want to give you a, a quick quick rundown on what I use. Um, now, I'm dealing with acrylic, and so it's a fairly dense material. Um, but you can use this calculation uh, if you use any type of material for your end plates. Uh, except for, of course, you know, something that is extremely uh, porous and is not as dense, like, oh, I don't know, paper. Which I know no one would use because we probably couldn't use it. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, I'm using acrylic in this application. Uh, basically, it goes something like this. You've got you take the diameter of your fastener that you plan on using. Like I said, in this case, this is a number 10, uh, which is basically, which is I think one, no, excuse me, 0.1935 inches uh, across the, uh, the diameter of this, of this fastener. And you would multiply that by 1.5. That gives me a maximum edge distance 0.29025 inches. Now, what is maximum edge distance? Well, in this case, I'm talking about the center of your hole to the edge of your gasket or plate. That distance there. So in this case, since I'm using this fastener, I'm using a fairly uh, dense material. I will want to place this fastener no greater than just slightly over a quarter of an inch from the center of it to the edge of this plate. And actually that's pretty close to what I've got currently. i got a little bit more. It's uh, 5 sixteenths or so. Another question has come up, um, where do I locate my fasteners at the outer perimeter or the four corners of my plates, if you will, or at a corner of the plate? Um, well, the same principle applies here as it would here, meaning if we're using the quarter of an inch or 5 sixteenths in this case, from the center of this hole to the edge of this gasket, we would take the same measurement along this plane, or vertically. So you would have 5 sixteenths or quarter in this, or excuse me, 5 sixteenths from the center of this hole 
to the top of this gasket. This dimension here would be the 5 16 or roughly the one and a half times the diameter of your fastener. And the reason why is in this type of dry cell construction I'm relying solely on compression to keep my plates and my gaskets in place. If you go more than that, uh, if your distances are more than that, uh, then you run into some problems such as your distortion, um, deflection, uh, basically it's the displacement of a structural member or system under load. Um, in this case that means I've got all these plates stacked up and I start cranking and applying torque on these nuts. This plate will start flexing on the edges. That's deflection. And what will happen is if your if your fasteners are too far out, um, I don't care how much torque you apply to that nut, you probably will not have a very tight seal. You'll be fighting it and fighting it and fighting it and end up just using all kinds of glues and adhesives and whatnot to try to keep your dry cell from leaking. Um, but if you adhere to this simple rule, uh, probably 99% of the time uh, you will not have that problem.